We turn now overseas. The self-proclaimed Islamic State appeared unstoppable this summer as they toppled one city after another in Iraq. But analysts are saying those easy victories may be coming to an end. U.S.-led coalition airstrikes are just part of the reason that their momentum appears to be stalling. In the book, The Failure of Counterinsurgency, Why Hearts and Minds Are Seldom Won, Ivan Elin provides a comprehensive analysis of the effectiveness of counterinsurgency. He's a senior fail fellow and director Director of the Center on Peace and Liberty at the Independent Institute and a great friend of Arise America. Ivan, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me on. Hey, sort of take me through the grocery list of what you attribute this slowdown. As seemingly there is a slowing in the momentum of ISIS. What do you attribute it to? Well, the, the um, New York Times uh, attributes it partly to airstrikes, but partly to other factors. And I think uh, actually it's probably due to the fact that, uh, which was obvious from the beginning, that the ISIS was not going to take over Shiite areas because it's a Sunni group and they really have no support because they actively uh, kill Shiites. So I think, uh, you know, Baghdad is mainly Shiite and I think uh, the, the militias have been coming out there and I don't think there was much uh, of a chance that ISIS would ever take Baghdad. And, I, and uh, I, this is not surprising at all that this has slowed down. In fact, they've been slowing down for a long time because if you remember, they came like gangbusters into to Iraq and we're rolling up uh, right to Baghdad uh, pretty early on. And of course, they haven't really, uh, they're still taking some areas, but they're be being beat back in other areas. I happen to think that the airstrikes will probably be counterproductive in the long term because I think it will probably generate more fighters and uh, money for the group. Uh, they really need uh, local ground forces uh, to fight ISIS. The problem is they're not in very good shape. Uh, they're lousy in Syria. Um, and in Iraq, of course, uh, the Iraqi army ran before ISIS uh, and the Peshmerga, uh, the vaunted Peshmerga from the Kurds, uh, Kurdish were kind of out of practice. Uh, and so they, they were uh, beat back as well. So I think uh, uh, it's going to take a long time to get the local ground forces because what's happening is ISIS is, because of the airstrikes, they're uh, being more furtive. They're going mm -hmm. into the cities. They're going in smaller groups. Uh, they're going by cir circuitous routes. Of uh, yeah, they really site. seem to have evolved a little bit. Let me jump in there and ask you right. a question. Talking about those those ground for, uh, forces, you know, the United States has already sent uh, 14 quote unquote advisors to help the high level military people uh, in Iraq. And uh, there is consideration. You wrote in an article for the Huffington Post for 3,500 more uh, advisors. Is this the mission creep that so many have feared and predicted would happen? Yes, you know, uh, this is exactly what happened in Vietnam. We had airstrikes, we put our prestige on the line, we put advisors in, and then the advisors started fighting uh, with the, uh, the forces, the Vietnamese forces. Now, we're not there yet, but th these forces could eventually go out into the field uh, and, uh, and fight. And in fact, they would have to to make the airstrikes uh, more, much more effective by calling in the airstrikes where the enemy is, et cetera. But I and been, also, I'm going to jump in there because I'm going to run out of time any minute now. And I just want to ask you, though, if for some reason uh, we end up with U.S. forces on the ground there fighting this fight, uh, what's your prognosis for success? Well, I think it's actually less than if you use uh, local forces because local forces know the culture, the language, and they can actually determine better uh, whether a person is a guerrilla or an innocent civilian. And so I think that's why you really do need to train local forces or you need to get at least regional forces, the Turks in there, but uh, they're not going to do it if we do it. And I think uh, our actions so far have been counterproductive with just the airstrikes. All right. Ivan Elin, always very interesting to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you're watching Rise America.